Good day, little friends and Storytime parents. Welcome to another Storytime session with your friendly senior library tech, Miss Tiffany at your MWR Community Library. Today, I picked some of my favorite stories to share with you all. So let's begin. All right. So for this week, we are going to read a couple of my favorite holiday stories in time for Christmas. Here we go. So my first book is called The 12 Days of Christmas. And this is by June Ray. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me a partridge in a pear tree. On the second day of Christmas, my true love gave to me two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. On the third day of Christmas, my true love gave to me three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fourth day of Christmas, my true love gave to me four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the fifth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the sixth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me six geese a lane, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the seventh day of Christmas, my true love sent to me seven swans a swimming, six geese a lane, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eighth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the ninth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings. Four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the tenth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the eleventh day of Christmas, my true love sent to me eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love sent to me twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords a leaping, nine ladies dancing, eight maids a milking, seven swans a swimming, six geese a laying, five golden rings, four calling birds, three French hens, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. The end. What a great book. Did you guys know that that was a song? You can actually look it up. All right. So this book is called Two Christmas Mice. And this is by Karen Demas. Here we go. It was the morning before Christmas, and a mouse who lived in the hayfield south of Big Maple Tree was setting up her Christmas tree in, the, in her parlor. First, it wibble wobble to the right, then it wibble wobble to the left. Finally, it stood up straight. Will a mouse, who lived in the hayfield north of Big Maple Tree, was making paper chains. First, the glue wasn't sticky enough, then it was too sticky. Finally, it was just right. By afternoon, it had started snowing. It snowed and it snowed. Anna Mouse got ready to go to town and buy decorations for a Christmas tree. But when she got to the end of her long burrow, the snow was too deep. She closed her door tight. Willow Mouse got ready to go to town to buy her Christmas tree. But when she got to the end of her long burrow, the snow was too deep. 
she closed her door tight. What was Anna Mouse going to do without decorations for her tree? Would Santa Mouse even know it was a Christmas tree? Anna Mouse found an old pie tin in the pantry and cut out a silver star. She put it on top of the tree. What was Willa Mouse going to do without a Christmas tree? Willa Mouse took her cape and bonnet off the coat rack in the hall. Then she dragged the coat rack down the burrow to her parlor. She stood the coat rack up in the corner. Would Santa Mouse know it was supposed to be a Christmas tree? She decorated it with paper chains. Anna Mouse ate a little supper and hoped it would stop snowing. She planned to go caroling with all the other mouse mice from the South Hayfield. They always sang to the rabbits who lived in the blackberry patch since, as you know, rabbits are fond of carols but can't sing at all. But when Anna Mouse looked out, the snow was even deeper. The wind blew snow right into her tidy front hall. She had to push hard to close the door tight. All alone on Christmas Eve and no caroling. This was Willa Mouse's first Christmas in her new home. She ate a little supper and hoped it would stop snowing. She planned to go caroling with all the other mice from the North Hayfield. They sang to the squirrels at the edge of the woods since, as you know, squirrels are fond of carols but can never remember the words. But when Willa Mouse looked out, the snow was even deeper. The wind blew snow all over her cape and bonnet. She had to push hard to close the door tight, all alone on Christmas Eve, and no caroling. Anna Mouse got her violin from her music room. At least she'd play some Christmas music by her tree. She hung her portrait of Mozart, her favorite composer, on her parlor wall for company. Willa Mouse curled up on her soft sofa. It was the first time she sat in her parlor since she moved in. She decided to read aloud from The Night Before Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring. But something was stirring. Willa Mouse looked up from her book. Something was happening on the other side of her parlor wall. But that couldn't be. Willa Mouse started reading again. Not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. But now there was no mistaking it. First, there were some odd notes. Then there was music. It was coming from right behind her portrait of Mozart, her favorite composer. Willa Mouse stood close to the portrait of Mozart. Someone was playing Christmas carols on a violin. Willa Mouse lifted the portrait down and pressed her ear against the wall. Only a mouse could play that well. She tapped on the wall, but no one answered. She tapped again louder. Then she knocked with both paws, still no answer. She spread some newspaper on the floor and started to dig. And a mouse finished playing Silent Night, but it wasn't a silent night at all. There was an odd scratching sound coming from the wall of her parlor. Right behind her portrait of Mozart, Anna Mouse put down her violin and pressed her ear against the wall. It sounded like digging. Anna Mouse lifted the portrait of Mozart off the wall. There was a hole in the wall, and peering through the hole was a friendly mouse face. It was Willa Mouse! Although the front doors of Anna Mouse's burrow and Willa Mouse's burrow were far apart in different hayfields, their parlors were actually close together. Anna Mouse and Willa Mouse were neighbors, but they had never seen each other before. A new friend for Christmas, cried Willa Mouse. Let's take down the whole wall, cried Anna Mouse. So they did. Soon they had one big parlor with two fireplaces. They swept up the mess and put Anna Mouse's tree in the center of the room. They strung it with Willa Mouse's beautiful paper chains. The tree looked perfect. Anna Mouse and Willa Mouse stayed up late, dancing around the tree and singing carols. Fa la 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 la. Then they fell asleep on Willa Mouse's soft sofa. And just in time, for Santa Mouse had arrived, he slid down Anna Mouse's chimney and found that he was in Willa Mouse's parlor too. He piled their presents under the tree. Anna Mouse and Willa Mouse are both still asleep, 
but since you are curious, here is what Santa Mouse brought them. Anna Mouse will get a silver violin charm on a pink silk ribbon. Willa Mouse will get a pink diary with a purple plume pen. And inside the big box, with both of their names on it, is a china tea set for two. The end. What a great story. I love two Christmas mice. All right, friends, thank you for sharing this special story time with me. I hope you have an amazing day and happy holidays. Bye-bye.